Hey, what's up, smart wealth makers? My name is Lila, and in this third video of the series, starting a SaaS business with no coding, with a very small budget, I'm creating this series of video to show you how to start this type of business step by step. In the last videos, we talked about the business and about the shared hosting that you need for your website. Shared hosting might not be a good option for some of you. You may have other websites or you don't want to start with a shared hosting and later migrate your website from a shared hosting to VPS or cloud. So you want to start basically straight away on a VPS. So I'll go through what is a VPS and all the details that you need to know and actually buy in a VPS hosting. So let's get started. If you are new to all this, it may be overwhelming to choose from the tons of web hosting options out there. You may have heard shared hosting and wondering what the difference between a shared hosting and a VPS or cloud hosting. And then you don't know if you should choose managed or unmanaged service. Don't worry. In this video, I'll cover all the important information you need to know before buying a web hosting. I've done the research for you and you will compare the best web hosting providers with the cheapest hosting plans. If you don't have a clue what are the types of web hosting available, you can watch these videos for beginners. But to summarize, shared hosting is the most common and the cheapest type of hosting. In a shared hosting, you share the service and its resources with others like the storage, the bandwidth, and so on and so forth. So if one website you share the resources with goes down, your website will be affected and most likely goes down too. That is if the two websites are hosted on the same server. This makes you lose the traffic and potentially money. The next type that is a little bit more expensive but still affordable is VPS hosting. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. You can tell from the name that is in this type of hosting you can get your own virtual server with your own resources. The other type of hosting is cloud hosting. This is the newest technology for web hosting that is more expensive and you probably won't use it. There are also dedicated servers but that's for medium to big companies and those who have websites with huge traffic. They're expensive. I'm not going to talk about cloud or dedicated web hosting as we're talking about starting a business with the minimum resources possible. So if you want to choose a VPN web hosting you will find too many choices and if you are new to all this you will be overwhelmed with the options available you may say well I'll go with the cheapest VBS hosting available but you run into problems that you don't expect at all for example a bad customer support hidden costs from the providers or a server that is constantly down. That's just to name a few of these problems. I'm going to make it easier for you and give you the cheapest options out there and the most reliable. I searched the VPS cloud web servers for days and even bought some of them to test few things and I'll be helping you to choose one without breaking the bank. Now let me clarify one important thing. For shared hosting, they're all managed. This means the hosting provider handles the setup, the server, the server is configured by the provider and maintained, they provide the security and regular backups. But for a VPS server, you have two options either a managed service fully managed service usually means less work from you but it is more expensive than unmanaged service with unmanaged hosting is usually do-it-yourself experience you get the service with the operating system of your choice and the hosting company is responsible for operating the equipment and maintaining the physical servers but you're responsible for administrating the server remotely and that includes responsibility for the software upgrades security backup and monitoring that's a lot of work from you. So if you are good with the technical things, you can choose the cheapest VPS server and do it all yourself. Or if you don't have a clue how to set up a server and do all the things with commands and without any panel, you should probably go for the little bit more expensive options that is fully or partially managed VPS server. Now I've put together this table of the best VPS web hosting providers from my research. Those are Cloudways, Contabo, Hostinger, Tala Hosting, A2 um, Hosting, and SiteGround. They're not all VPS. You can see two of them are cloud-based hosting. And the first thing i gone through is the price per month and if it's for managed or unmanaged. So you can see the cheapest for the managed Hostinger or Contabo, I should say. And then I checked if you have the root access and they all offer you a root access. Then a cPanel. cPanel is a, this panel you can see here that makes your life easier if it's included with your VPS server. With Hostinger, they have cyber panel at reasonable price. They have other types of panels, including the cPanel, but it's more expensive. Scala Hosting have something similar to the cPanel that is S panel. That's, I think, their own panel. A2, they have the cPanel, but at $77 a month, that's 
too expensive. The Contab web server is eight dollars a month only but that's without any panel at all you have to have some technical knowledge of the server to be able to, to be able to manage it yourself same goes for daddy but they offer all panels at extra fees as you can see here then we have liquid web yes they offer um, cpanel or plesk but at higher prices site ground they have site tools that their own panel but it's expensive at 72 dollars a month then if you look at the cpu we have few there that offer full cpu those are hostinger contabo and site ground but you can see at what prices the the prices differ a lot between these in terms of bandwidth contabo offer the most generous bandwidth a 32 terabytes and the other ones are from 10 terabytes to 2 and in terms of ram and storage they all offer between 2 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes and the storage they're not very far from each other apart from godaddy contabo kala hosting and hostinger and here you can see the ones that offer money back if you're not happy with the service within 30 days usually the support is great for all of them they they offer support by chat tickets can even call them they all offer tutorials and instruction on how to set up your service and other technical issues if you have any of then the rating i checked the rating on trustpilot you should do too the only one that have a bad rating that is unfair in my opinion that's contabo contabo is for people who are very good with servers if people don't know much about technical sides they obviously automatically put negative reviews that are unfair to contabo that's my opinion from reading a lot of negative reviews so they're all very good web hosting services and they all offer affiliate programs so from the table i can nominate contabo and hostinger if you're good with the servers, you can go with unmanaged VPS server on Contabo. If you're not, go with Hostinger as they have a cyber panel and it will help you a lot. And that's what we're going with in this video. We're going to buy a VPS from Hostinger with a cyber panel. Now let me show you how to buy Hostinger VPS server. If you go to hostinger.com and the hosting, choose VPS hosting. Let's click start now. Here you can see the VPS plans. We have VPS 1, VPS 2, 3 and so on. I'm going to choose the VPS 1 server just to try the service. But the recommended one is the most popular one that you can see here at $499 a month. Let me select the VPS 1. It takes you to this screen. They allow you to test their service for one month at $899. If you're not happy with the service, you can always ask for your money back. You can see here 30 days money back guarantee. Otherwise, you can check the other options that, that are $3.99 for one year, $3.99 a one year, $3.69 for two years, or the cheapest as $3.49 for four years. I'm going to choose $3.99 for one year. Oh, sorry, for one month. The service you can add your email address and then select the payment from credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, or, or with CoinGate if you prefer paying with cryptocurrency. I'm not going to waste your time by filling this information. It's straightforward. Now, when you do so, you'll get an email sent to your email box and they ask you to verify your email address. They also send you an email that, that they received your payment with all the details of the server that you bought. And the last email I got with a link for the sign in for signing in or you can just sign in from their website. Now, when you sign up, you get to this dashboard and they call it H panel of Hostinger. I hope this was helpful and if it was drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next coming videos in this series. Thank you for watching, this is Smart Wealth Makers and I'll see you later guys.